Hello everybody, welcome back to King Badger's Pit. Hello Baby Metal fans, today we are returning to a, fa a favorite of mine and a favorite of yours, Baby Metal. As you know, I have their autographs. I have all three, the three original members, Sue Metal, Yui Metal, and Moa Metal, and their autographs. If you would like the story of how I got this, keep watching till the end of the video. I am also going to start doing... Once I start getting some members on my YouTube channel, I will start doing membership-only videos about these kind of things. I want to turn my membership my membership side of my channel into a podcast-like form where I talk about various things. Um, maybe I do interviews. Maybe I do other things. And, you know... Uh, give you guys something for your money. Money is worth. With that said, we're gonna get we're gonna be doing Babe Metal today and their song Mirror Mirror. I double checked because I thought I had done it. I have already watched the video, I think, and I thought I had reacted to it. Oh no! Come on, ladies. There you go. Um, but apparently, I have not reacted to it. Um, so we're gonna do it now. Um, it's going to be the official version, so hopefully it doesn't get blocked. Um, because it's the official version and because it's Baby Metal, the pausing will come frequently. If you're a Baby Metal fan, a true Baby Metal fan, you know the reputation Amuse has on this on YouTube for blocking. So try to stay, try to be patient. It will get over soon. But with that said, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more. Give me no, give me recommendations that aren't baby metal because I kind of have an idea of what 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 content I want to react to when it comes to baby metal. But other than that, let's get all to the video. Oh yeah, don't forget about the membership program. Um, by the way, the membership program ninety nine cents becomes you become, makes you become a mosher and two ninety nine makes you become a headbanger. And in the description will be a link to Doug Flutie Jr.'s autism. Charity Foundation, where you can donate some money to an autistic charity, as I myself have, have autism, and I think it's good to promote it. Alright, let's get to the video. Alright, Mirror Mirror. Alright, Mirror Mirror, Babe Metal Official. It's been a long time since I reacted to an official music video by Babe Metal. I try to avoid them because of the blocking purposes. Next time I do Babe Metal, it will be the same song, but it will be the live version, um, which I normally have a little bit better luck with. With that said, I will pause it, and I know this is annoying every 30 seconds because I am not getting my video blocked, if I can help it. Alright, let's get to it right about now. Classic baby metal intro, classic baby metal choreography. I think this is not Momo. So this is before the Momo era. Or it might have been during the, the, the beginning of the Momo era. Um, so it's like, um, what I know is that baby metal had... It, it, was, baby, it was Sue Metal, Yui Metal, and Momo Metal. And then about 2018-ish, Yui Metal left. And then it was Sue Metal and Moa Metal. And then they started doing this rotation of dancers called the Avengers. And I know one of them was Momoko, um, who eventually becomes a permanent member later on in the Bay Metal uh, group. Alright. Like I said, it's going to be strict. Because I don't want this to get... <laughs> Mira, mira, 
Um, that is Momo, I think. Oh, at least one of them was. So, Bay Middle fans, help me figure this out. Um, um, is this actual with Momo, or is this a compilation of live versions, and some of the versions have Momo in it? Because I, that girls look different each time. It just might be me not, I might not just be, I, I'm just not used to seeing Momo yet. Um, I know she's been there for a little bit, but I'm not used to seeing her. Um, but yeah, everything sounds great. One thing about Bay Metal that I like is that there's always something to watch. There's always something to see. There's always something. And every song is unique, in my opinion. Every song is different. Every song has a different feel to it, a different sound to it. it before anything spectacular happens like normally with um, baby metal but yeah these girls are awesome i know there's a lot of people some people who are out there who don't like the fact that they're as good as so what's funny about the the idea about baby metal is they're essentially doing what ozzy does did or what other um people like ozzy or dio does where the band is called Ozzy, the band is called Dio, the band's called Marilyn Manson, the band's called Rob Zombie, and they just bring in, they brought in, um, other people to play the instruments. Now, granted, the other people who play the instruments are actually part of the band, and for Baby Metal, Kami Band is not part of Baby Metal. I mean, essentially, they are now. I think they are a subgroup of the Baby Metal, but... You can't deny that they put their work in, they put the effort in, and they put the um, uh, struggle in. These girls work hard for what they do. And it's funny. Every band, every fan of bands that shit on a, a big metal, their bands aren't as big as them. That is simple as it comes. Every band that I have reacted to, when I mentioned Babe Metal, and that fan, those fans shit on Babe Metal... Baby metal's bigger than them. So, I don't know what you want. I don't know I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Baby metal's still bigger. And they will continue to be bigger. Those bands are never going to surpass the baby metal. They never will. Because they're not as they're, they're not unique. I hate to break it to you. Those bands that people are that I've been talking about, I'm not going to name their names because I like the bands, but I want to get on the bad side of the fans. Those bands are never going to be bigger than baby metal. Ever, because they're not, they are not as unique as baby metal. There is nothing out there exactly like baby metal is, and if there is, it's because baby metal did it first. I know it. I and I know that true wholeheartedly. <laughs> into it everything sounds good the choreography is awesome i love that instrumentation i love the um, sound effects again i can't wait to watch the live version of this this is technically live but i can hear the edited editorial part of it so
pause in there. I know it's random. Just to get uh, keep it from being blocked. Alright, everything sounds good. Everything sounds awesome. I'm enjoying it. This is Babe Metal, what, one of my top five favorite bands. Alright, I wanna pause it so no uh, none of the um logos come up. Alright, that was really really good. Let's get to, let's get to the review. Alright, that was Baby Metal with their song Mirror Mirror, the official live video studio recording. So the the audio was studio, the live the video was um mostly live. Uh, from a live show. That was good. That was awesome. I love it. Bay Metal is awesome. Now, on to the story. It's not that complex of a story. So, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. And in 26, I lived in Detroit, Michigan for most of my life. And in 2016, Babe Metal came to Detroit, the Fillmore. Right? And me and my sister went to go see them. We know a lot. I, I don't know a lot. I know enough people in the music industry and enough people at certain places. And I knew a radio show host who was friends with their U.S. tour manager. And he... Managed to get us not only this picture, but we got to get them to sign it. They did say not very many conversations, not very many, um, uh, like she says, he says, uh, you can ask a simple question like, how do you like America and stuff like that? Because they were young. They, they don't really do meet. Well, back they do. They do it better now. They don't really do meet. They didn't really do meet and greets, and they didn't really do signings because it just it wasn't because they were thought they were too good for them. It's, it, it, it apparently what I was told is it terrified them. Also, because they were afraid that especially in America, like they do it in Japan a lot. They'll do it in Japan quite often. But what I was told is that in America and in other countries, they get worried because they don't want to be asked. Because if they get asked questions, they're not going to be able to answer them in their language. And even if they could, a lot of the questions they get asked are personal. And they kept... And the whole point of Bait Metal is their lives are private. We don't know what Sue Metal does when she's not... We have an idea what she does, but we don't know her day-to-day -day life when she's not performing. Same thing with Moa, same thing with Yui. Right and that, now Momoko, right? We we know we know that they have private lives, and the idea is that they're supposed to stay private. Private. Now sometimes, now every concert you go to, Baby Metal. If you're very, if you know, if you're knowledgeable about it, you can go to the merchandise booth and buy a picture that they signed previously, or. You get the VIP, and that's what comes with the VIP. Um, but that was back in 2016, back when they were still pretty young. I think Sue, that was nine years ago, so Sue would have been... Uh, she's 26, nine... 17? And then Moa and Yui would have been... I think Moa, Moa and Yui would have been 16. Because Sue was... Well, no, Moa and Yui would have been May 11th. Yeah, Mo and Yui would have been 15. So they would they would have been children still. They would have been little kids. 
little girls. And so, uh, my sister got the picture. I got the autographs because we had to ask. We got we got one or the other. It, we both asked, and she got a picture with them. I got to get. I said I was like, I I'm not going to be a grown ass man. I was. Well, I wasn't growing up when I was 19, but I'm not going to be a grown up at 19 taking pictures with with them because that is just going to look odd in my opinion. So I decided to go with the uh, autograph. My little sister got the picture, and there you go. I like Moas. See, she goes the the fox the fox sign. All right. Yeah, that is my baby metal story. I have other big metal stories because I've seen them live several times, but that is my first big metal story. All right. I know this is a long outro, but you guys all wanted the story. With that said, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more, let me know what to react to. In the description will be a link to the original video as well as the big metal playlist and a um, link to the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation. For autism, donate donate what you can. Um, we also have a membership program that I will start uploading content for as soon as I get memberships. Um, Till next time, goodbye everybody.